Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Super manga leaks and spoilers here on the channel. We're going to be talking about Chapter 101. I will not be showing any screenshots or images from the actual manga itself because, as you guys know, Shuei said they'll destroy me, okay? I'll get a bunch of copyright and stuff. So we're just going to be discussing the actual leaks and spoilers. This is the full information. Big shout-outs to Super Chronicles for actually uh, posting this, and shout-out to DBS Hype 1 for uh, the actual scans and everything. Like I said, no images on this one. Uh, you'll just have to wait until it comes out on like Manga Plus or Viz Media or whatever, uh, which should be in a few days from now. But um, you guys know I don't really cover manga content too much, okay? If it's like something really exciting or something I find interesting, I'll talk about it. And that's exactly what's happening. This chapter from what I saw from some of the images and just a bit of the summary, uh, it's actually a lot more interesting than a lot of us thought. Okay, some of us thought that it was just going to be a uh, Carmine doing some BS or whatever, still doing the red ribbon armor. This is more of like the aftermath, and there's even stuff that goes on with Beerus's planet, um, Broly, and like Vegeta training. Uh, I'm not going to get into it just yet, but like if you don't want to watch uh, this and hear me talk about the full information, click off this video right now because, like I said, in a few days, you'll be able to see the actual chapters for yourself. But if you like hearing about it and you're excited to hear about it, I would say stick around because it, it gets interesting. So, let's go over this. The chapter starts with Carmine and number 15 in a black attire returning from Magenta's funeral. That's actually kind of crazy. Uh, <laughs> they still gave him a funeral, which, I mean, I'm not saying that's like weird or you know i, I don't want to say crazy you know that but that's got that's nice you know they at least gave him a funeral i guess but uh you know he he's still that guy was still a piece of shit so uh with its base and most of the troops gone the red ribbon army is over okay but carmine notes that they still have funds to rebuild the army if they want to okay so this is kind of what i thought it was going to be it was just going to be the whole time oh let's just try to rebuild the army and then go ten and trunks would like destroy him or something I, I don't know but um it's impossible with piccolo and gohan around if they're the ones who defeated cell max okay so they have fear in their hearts all right gohan and piccolo actually like there's they scared them off in a sense all right Carmine and number 15 left the base before Cell Max was activated, so they haven't seen what happened after that, okay? They just know that Cell Max got destroyed by them, okay? Carmine and number 15's car gets stuck in traffic as Sayaman X1, aka Trunks, fights bank robbers in the middle of the road. Carmine is surprised to see X1 send a robber flying with just one finger tap. That's my boy Trunks, bro. That's my guy, all right? Y'all y'all be sleeping on Trunks and Goten, okay? I'm just saying, even if they're they're not, you know, like, super powerful, like, as, you know, Gohan and, like, Piccolo and Goku and stuff, I mean, they still got it, okay? They can still send a, a dude flying with one flick of the finger, and yes, I know they're, you know, part saying and everything, but it's just cool to see them do some, you know, kind of cool stuff, right? All right? Y'all know I, I, am, I am starving for some Goten and Trunks content, right? Some, like, actual cool stuff. So, uh, just then, X2, a.k.a. Goten, also comes out of the bank, kicking another robber's ass. That's my guy, Goten! He's beating that ass, bro. All right, Carmine is amazed to see how easily they took care of the robbers, okay? So, kind of interesting. Um, I wonder what this will lead to. Carmine invites them to have a conversation at Red Pizza. Y'all know Red Pizza? That's, like, my favorite pizza joint, okay? The boys eat pizza. Bro, Goten and Trunks got free pizza? Shit, maybe I should be a superhero. Some guy will pick me up and, and we'll get free pizza. All right, that sounded weird, but whatever. As Carmine explains to them that he needs their help to defeat an evil guy in return. That's so weird. That's hilarious. Obviously, he has no idea who Goten and Trunks are or who, who, these, who X1 and X2 are. So I'm assuming what he's trying to do is he's trying to basically recruit them, aka commission them, to to fight beast gohan <laughs> that's hilarious goten's probably like i don't i fucked that i don't want to fight him <laughs> goten would get absolutely destroyed dude like rip goten like goten should know how powerful his older brother is right he would reward them with money x1 and x2 turn down the invite see People be saying that, you know, Goten and Trunks, they ain't they ain't pure heart and everything. I'm just joking. I don't know. I saw some people saying that, like, Goten, go like, oh, how can he be pure heart and ride the Nimbus or whatever? It's like, bro, they're going to, they don't care about money, okay? They just trying to do, they trying to be superheroes, right? They just trying to have a good time and, you know, 
save 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 the day right so carmine provokes them by saying that they're afraid of this strong evil guy trunks gets fired up okay yep i knew it saying there's no one who can match our levels except for piccolo broly uh goku vegeta gohan and literally everyone right now that not only match not match him but will whoop their ass right um but yeah, I know he's he's just he's just trying to gas himself up. You know, Trunks, uh, present day Trunks, complete. It's night and day from future Trunks, right? Carmine tells them the same world ending story. Blah blah blah. Secret organization planning to take over Earth. Like, did they not? Did they not like already hear about this or like? I, I can't remember. Did they even interact with Carmine? Because they were there. Maybe they didn't see him. I can't remember, dude. Like, the, the, the superhero arc was just so boring to me. Like, I just forgot, okay? I think, I mean, they know who Hedo is, but I think that's it. Meanwhile, Goten poses for his fangirls. This is the start of it, y'all. This is the beginning of Goten being like an absolute Chad, okay, with the girls. Like, he just, he'd be getting dates like every other week. Like, what is this, man? That's hilarious. I, does does Trunks not have any fangirls or he's like, oh, I gotta, you know, I'm still with Mai, which that's still weird as shit, but whatever. After thinking for some time, Trunks agrees to join Carmine in defeating the evil guy just because he wants to show Mai a video of some of his cool moments in the fight. Okay, Trunks is a piece of shit. I'm just joking. I'm joking. <laughs> that's so dumb, dude. Ugh, can they just... Can we, can we leave the Trunks my shit in 2023? Like, I wish we didn't even have that shit to begin with, okay? But, like, let's leave that. All right, that's enough of that. So they leave for Gohan's residence, okay? Uh, at Beerus's planet, we see Vegeta versus Broly. So this is the rematch, y'all. The rematch that we've been wanting to see. I don't know. Have y'all been wanting to see this? I mean, I, I I wasn't, like, asking for it or anything, but it's cool that they're actually doing it. Broly fires a series of blasts, but Vegeta deflects them easily, then sneaks behind him and whispers in his ear with a proud smile. Are you going to go mad, Broly? <laughs> that's so that's so weird. Whispers in his ear with a proud smile. Oh, he's a little shit. Vegeta's trying to provoke his ass, dude. He takes Broly's punch right on his face and says, There's nothing wrong with being angry. Anger is the source of power for all Saiyans. The only problem with you is that you lose control of yourself. I love that, okay? I love that Vegeta, he's like trying to tell him like, Hey, okay? You don't want to suppress the anger, right? You you want to you want to harness it and control it. I like that, you know. I like seeing there's you know like Go Goku and Vegeta, you know, there's even though we we they train and we like seeing their progression and stuff. It's like I don't really see what more they can do other than trying to master like perfect immaculate ultra ego and ultra instinct, right? Which I mean Goku kind of he's kind of there, right? Um but it's just cool seeing somebody like Broly, who's kind of not a novice, but like he has a lot of control issues. So it's cool to see him actually trying to, you know, learn this shit, right? So I did see an image on here, but Vegeta does transform into Super Saiyan, which is sick, okay? Um, I got so excited over that, and that's just because this is part of the superhero movie arc. And we didn't get to see anyone go Super Saiyan except for, you know, Gohan or whatever. Like Goku and Vegeta, when they fought... They just, they fought in base form. So, I don't know. That got me excited, We which it's not really that major, like, surprising or anything. But it's just cool to, to see something that we didn't get to see, right? So, like, this is, like, I'm telling you guys, like, this is an actual, like, cool chapter this time around, okay? He goes, don't suppress your rage. Control it. Vegeta keeps provoking Broly to go berserk in order to stand a chance against him. But Broly suppresses the rage within him. So, Broly's still scared, Okay. He's still scared that he's going to lose control. So Goku worries that Broly might actually go berserk again, but Whis notes that things have changed a little. Goku doesn't understand what Whis means by this. Broly soon gains the upper hand in the fight. Vegeta lowers his key and hides behind a tree. He's like, all right, fuck this. <clears throat> um, Broly uh, takes a moment to think and hits Vegeta. Okay, okay. So he's actually thinking. He's not just Bleh! like going crazy berserk, right? He's He's using his mind. That's good. That's good progress. Goku and Whis are both happy to see Broly's progress. But now the real training begins as Vegeta notes that it's good he's not getting mad during the fight. But if he doesn't, he can't show his true strength. Exactly. So right now Broly's at this point where he's, he's I think he's gotten the suppression part under control in, certain, in terms of that aspect. Like not just getting mad for no reason like crazy or whatever. But he's so he, he has so much fear that he's going to... If he does transform, he's going to lose control, okay? That's the only issue right now. 
which I mean, that's a, that's a, ma that's a major issue because it's like, you know, if Goku, you know, everybody else, every other Saiyan can transform without, you know, losing control, right? He's the only one so far that can't. So Broly needs to figure out a way to bring out his true strength. Goku suggests to him, uh, suggests him to go Super Saiyan as well, but Broly says it's difficult for him to do that, okay? I don't think it's, I don't think he means like it's difficult, like it's like, like he can't remember how to do it or like it was like a one, one time only thing. I think it's just, again, that he's, he's just kind of, <clears throat> it's hard for him to do it without losing control, right? Lemo gives water to Goku, Vegeta, and Broly. Chilai enters the scene and Chilai says, geez, you guys are so carefree. Say what you want. Say, what would you do if Frieza showed up right now? Black Frieza. Oh, see, there's our Black Frieza y'all been waiting for, right? Nah, I'm joking, but he said, or they, uh, she said, you said it was a nightmare, right? Goku stops drinking his water and takes a moment to think. Yeah, it's a nightmare. He's a bad guy, but he's so amazing. He trained and surpassed us in a short time. So, yeah, they're still on this Black Frieza, you know, Black is still on the mind right now, okay? Ooh, man, just imagine this next arc, y'all. If it gets to Black Frieza, it's gonna be crazy fucking cool, right? But, I don't know, um, you know, if they wanna have other stuff in between, or if they wanna go straight to end to Z or whatever, like, right now, I'm, this chapter, okay, Toyo, he's cooking right now, okay? He's getting me invested in this. He's setting up right here. Right here, at least with this, he's setting up, okay? It's just a little part. But there's some setup for Black Frieza. And I just like how Goku calls it a nightmare. That punch to the gut that Goku and Vegeta got, you know, back in the Granola arc at the very end, that was uh that was PTSD at this point. Because <laughs> saying it's a nightmare. <laughs> Beerus cuts in and tells Goku that there would always be someone above him. So just needs to continue training. If you can surpass me, I will recommend you to become the next God of Destruction. Again, the God of Destruction bullshit. Obviously, Goku says, I have no interest in that. Blah, blah, blah. Beerus asks Whis about the situation on Earth as he sensed danger earlier. Okay, cool. So we're going to see maybe a reaction from, from everyone about what happened, right? Because uh, we didn't get to see that. This is what we were waiting to see. You know, like, what do they think about this situation? Do they even know what happened? Do they even give a shit about what happened, right? Whis explains to him that a terrifying monster, Selmax, had appeared, but Goku's son and Piccolo, along with others, defeated it. Beerus doesn't remember Goku's son. What? 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 I mean, to be fair, it's probably been a very long time, right? Since Beerus even interacted with anyone down there. Um, but that's that's hilarious, okay? <laughs> Bulma said that Gohan was so great at that time that he might have surpassed us. Ooh, it's getting spicy. So Bulma relayed to Vegeta this info that Gohan was was kicking ass, right? Goku's reaction here. Whoa, wish I could have seen that. Well, I was in the middle of a fight with Vegeta, so I didn't know what was going on. Vegeta, foo -foo, all right. The fight where you lost to me. Got to gotta remind him that he got his ass beat by Vegeta. Back on Earth, Goten and Trunks have almost reached their destination. Goten realizes it's the same area where Gohan lives. Both start to worry as they've been sneaking out to be heroes during school time. Upon reaching the location, Goten and Trunks are scared. Dude, they saw that beast and they're shitting themselves, right? So they don't leave the car. Carmine comes out and fires blank shots in the air. Gohan comes out running in his study outfit. Okay, so I did see some images of this. Gohan's wearing his casual clothing, the dad clothing with the chanclas, bruh. So um, you guys remember at the beginning of the movie, whenever you know, he's got his glasses on, he's at home doing his research and stuff on this Super Saiyan and shit, and he has, like, the the sweats on and the plain white button-up uh, shirt, and then he has, like, the, the flip-flops on, okay? He's wearing that, okay? He's wearing that, so keep, visualize that. He's wearing that uh, outfit, this super casual, laid-back, at-home outfit that he would probably sleep in, right? So he catches the bullets from Carmine's gun. Gohan recognizes Carmine and number 15 to be the kidnappers of Pan and gets angry to go beast, breaking his glasses. The pressure of his key creates a big hole in the garden. So Gohan, in this outfit, with his glasses on, transforms into beast at will. Keep that in mind. He he can do that, okay? Now, I actually, when, I, when he's saying he's he gets angry, maybe he... 
I don't know. Can he do... I don't want to say at will yet, okay? I'm assuming he could, you know, figure it out, right? Right. But this is more of just, like, uh, a reaction, a first-hand reaction to these people that, you know, were... That kidnapped Pan, okay? Obviously, he would be very, very pissed about it. So, that causes him to go beast, which is crazy. Um, so, yeah, Videl's going to be pissed again because she just... <laughs> She just got probably got all that fixed, or maybe she hasn't even fixed the damage of that last part where Gohan goes Super Saiyan and broke the garden. So he does it again, but now with beasts. So the crater's probably even like that's probably like 50, 100 times bigger than before. So Gohan's beast key is so big that Goku and Vegeta can sense it from Beerus's planet. Kakarot, could it be this key? It can't be. Carmine calls out Saiyan to fight Gohan. But they don't. Yeah. If I was Trunks and Goten, would have shit myself. Gohan notices Goten and Trunks and asks them to explain what they're doing there with the Red Ribbon Army. Gohan goes back to his base form. Just then, Goku comes to Earth as he teleports on top of the car and says, Yo, everyone, it's been a while, isn't it? So, the chapter ends there. The note uh, from the editor says, Goku appears in a somewhat complicated situation. Is Goku thinking about doing that all oh, okay okay so i had no idea that that could be leading for something actually really really big i'm not gonna confirm it i'm not gonna say it's gonna what's gonna happen but thinking about doing that i think you guys can you guys know what exactly they're trying to lead he might lead into okay so uh i'm not again i'm not gonna show any image but at the i do recall seeing that image I, I think i posted it on twitter of uh goku he's on top of the car and that's like the first time in a very long time that you see goku gohan and goten in a single shot okay in the manga it's been a very long time since we've seen those three together obviously trunks is there as well so my prediction of what's gonna happen which i don't know it might not happen because they always you guys know they always like hype you up these people these editors and you know all these fuckers in Japan, they always hype us up and it ends up not being anything cool. What I'm thinking and what I'm hoping is going to happen is Goku wants to fight Gohan because he felt that key, the beast key, and he wants to see Gohan now in this new form. Now, the question is, will Gohan be able to tap into that at will? I don't know if he's able to do that exactly yet. It seems that it was just more of a, a reaction to it. Guys, this is getting, this is about to be heat. This could be heat. Don't get too excited, though, but this could be heat. In February, when we get the next chapter, mm, I'm excited, man. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this. Uh, I'll cover more stuff like this. If Super Chronicles provides, like, full summaries and everything, I'll, I'm will i down to do more videos like this. It's just that when it comes to the actual shots from the manga, we can't show them because it's it's going to be a night. That's going to be a nightmare. Shueisha is basically my black Frieza, right? <laughs> All right, y'all have a great day. Peace out. <laughs> This is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays! Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>